The musical instrument to be invented in the 20th century is the steel pan. What is ironic about this fact is the intervention of this sweet-sounding, melodious instrument has its genesis in the carnival celebrations in Trinidad and Tobago. While the term carnival mentality is often used to deride citizens of this country about their carefree attitude towards life, it must be noted that it is the same carefree, party-loving attitude associated with carnival that is responsible for the creation of the steel pan. During the early era of the carnival celebrations, the freed African slaves used every possible item to create rhythmic songs for their street parades. Items ranging from bamboo and sticks, later called the tambu bamboo, biscuit tins, oil drums and iron, formed the percussion instruments back in the day. History records that as the biscuit tins and oil drums were beaten as instruments, the players found that with every indentation a different sound emerged. The curious minds of individuals such as Winston Spree Simon, Ellie Manity and later Rudolf Charles led to further investigations and experimentation with the drums and tins which eventually morphed into the modern steel pan. The steel orchestra comprises of tenor pans, double tenor, double second, double guitar and six bass. It is also instructive to note that the steel pan was not embraced wholeheartedly by the upper echelons of society, mainly because its development was associated with the socially displaced areas of East Port of Spain and Lavento. The upper class felt that associating with the steel pan would identify them with criminal elements of society. Even the names were given to the steel orchestra, such as Desperados and Renegades, which speak to warfare. The early days of the steel pan movement were often associated with violence, especially when two rival bands clashed on the city streets during carnival celebrations. One such event was immortalized in song by the late Calypsonian Blakey, who sang Steel Band Clash. The persistence of the pan players led to a gradual acceptance of the steel pan as a bona fide musical instrument on the national stage, which companies began sponsoring. Steel orchestras have also appeared in Carnegie Hall and many leading venues across the globe. Such is the evolution of the steel pan that in 1992, then Prime Minister Patrick Manning named the instrument as the National Instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. Avalon Williams, AEM's report.